This is gonna be a complete YouTube tutorial from A to Z on how to get started on YouTube. Now, more importantly, I'm gonna show you how to get started on YouTube as a complete beginner, even if you've never created a video online. I'm gonna show you my methods on how I've grown this channel, but also other channels as well. And if you stick with me until the end of this video, I'm gonna show you how you can get all the resources mentioned on how to get started in YouTube YouTube, even as a complete beginner. Now, if you're brand new to my channel, my name is Jonathan Montoya with Passive Income Lifestyles. And the purpose of this channel is to teach you how to build a full-time passive income business so you can achieve financial and time freedom. I come out with videos almost every single week. And more importantly, I'm showing you how you can leave your nine to five job. With that being said, let's get into the video. Let's look over the 10,000 foot overview first. So if we go to the top here, this is my my framework that has helped me not only grow my channel, but also has helped me make over $5 million in sales. Okay. This is the overview right here. So let me show you some quick results here. This is my personal channel, passive income lifestyles. I've been able to grow it to 62,000 subscribers, which in hindsight is not a huge channel, but what I'm really good at is monetizing these channels. I'm really good at basically taking a channel and selling an online digital product, whether it's an online course, an affiliate product, that's what I'm I'm good at but either way if you want to grow a channel i'll show you how to do that okay so this is my channel here this is my wife's channel alicia darlene okay this channel we we're able to grow it to seventy-five thousand subscribers now, what I want to mention is the framework that I'm going to teach you works for any niche. Okay. My niche is I teach people how to quit their jobs with affiliate marketing. That's what I teach my wife. She helps moms, brand new moms that are just had babies. How do we cope with that anxiety and daycare and, and all that stuff? That's basically her niche. Okay. Totally different niche, but we're still able to rank her videos at the top. Okay. Here's another one right here. This is my uncle's YouTube channel, Learn Creep. Okay. So 25,000 subscribers. He easily does seven figures with this because he is a very specific niche. He basically does these super nice outdoor kitchens and all this stuff. So we've been able to grow this channel and rank at the top for certain keywords in this niche. Okay. I want to show you one more here. This was more of a case study just to show my students that I can grow a channel in a completely new niche. So this is a crypto channel. So basically I want to show my students I could grow it to a thousand subscribers, which as you can see, I did here. But more importantly, I wanted to learn crypto myself. You know, this was about a year ago. So I was like making videos and I was trying to learn and create at the same time. But what I'm trying to say is I know YouTube very, very well. And the framework that I'm going to show you is going to show you how to grow a channel in any niche. Let's go back to the framework here and let's talk about how this works. Okay. The YouTube framework, we have a YouTube video. Okay. Let's just say you post your YouTube video. YouTube has multiple algorithms. All right. So this is how you're going to get tons of views. Okay. You have search traffic. We have browse traffic. Browse traffic is basically, let's just say we go to YouTube and you're kind of scrolling and all these videos that YouTube is showing you, this is browse. Okay. These are the videos that YouTube is suggesting you to watch. Okay. Because they kind of know your patterns and behaviors. So basically what this is, is just showing you, Hey, this is a video that we think you're gonna wanna watch, okay? So this is powerful if you can get YouTube to show your videos on browse, okay? So we'll talk about that later and how you can do that. The next one is suggested. So suggested is basically like, let's just say we were to click on this video here, okay? So let's just click on this random video. And basically what this is, is um, if we scroll to the right, see these videos on the right side here? These are all suggested videos, okay? So basically it's just videos that YouTube thinks you're going to watch next based on the video that you just clicked on. Okay. So this is actually really powerful. This is how you can go viral. Okay. And let's talk about Google. This one's super powerful as well. So basically what this is, let's just say you go to Google and type in, I'm just going to type in a random keyword that I believe I'm ranking for. So system IO tutorial with this one here, Google will show your videos on the platform. Okay. And I was ranking for this one, but not at the moment, but you can see here that these are the videos that Google will show. Okay. This is a very powerful as well. And then let's go back here. Of course, subscription, that's pretty much straightforward. Basically when someone subscribes, let me show you. So if someone subscribes to your channel and then you go to subscriptions, like these are the channels that I subscribe personally 
these are the ones that's going to show me so that's pretty much straightforward and then of course we have the last one here we have shorts if you do short form videos which is basically a video that's one minute or less that's just another way to get people to your videos okay so this is the multiple algorithms we're going to spend most of our time on search traffic and let me kind of explain that if you're not sure what that means so basically one of the keywords that i rank for is click funnels 2.0 tutorial so if someone types that in you can see i'm number one okay so that's what i want to show you is how can we find a keyword that's highly searched and rank at the top okay that's what i'm going to show you but that the search traffic is what's going to help you grow as a complete beginner okay that's the thing that is going to help you grow from zero to a thousand as fast as humanly possible all right so that's what i want to show you here today because i think most of you are probably either starting out or you're under that thousand mark, okay? Once you get to that thousand marks, thousand subscribers, your channel will start growing a lot quicker, okay? It's just getting to that thousand subscribers is always the hardest part, okay? Basically, we have these multiple algorithms. The way you wanna create your video is using the perfect YouTube framework, which I'm gonna show you, of course. Uh, you're gonna have a clear call to action. I'm assuming everyone here wants to make money, right? We just don't wanna make videos just to make videos. So a clear call to action to your offer, okay? Now, if you don't have an offer, I'll show you how to get an offer, even if you don't have like your own product, okay? Because that's what I do. I teach people how to find offers literally overnight, okay? So that's one thing I'll teach you as well, okay? All right, let me just show you one more thing and we'll get into the actual teaching here, okay? Because I want you to understand the method, okay? So I broke YouTube out into three multiple phases, okay? So phase one is going from zero to a thousand subscribers. This is probably one of the hardest phases because you're just starting out, you're learning, you don't know how to do editing, you, you don't know all these things, right? So getting to a thousand subscribers is the hardest part. What you wanna focus on from going from zero to a thousand subscribers, basically search videos okay anything searchable okay so basically how-to videos so if you're teaching stay-at-home moms side hustles right best side hustles for stay-at-home moms right because they're probably looking for that or you know if you're teaching landscaping how to get my grass greener right these are all searches that people are searching for okay how to the best air fryer in 2023 okay review videos i'm sure all of you have gone to pinterest or youtube and typed in you know, the Amazon or, you know, let's just say this mic, right? This is a sure microphone, sure microphone review, right? Is it a good one? Or this Canon camera, is this a good camera? Okay, tutorial videos, listicles. Listicles are, for example, top five cameras to buy in 2023, okay? These are all very searchable type videos, okay? So this is what you're gonna be focusing on more, especially from going from zero to a thousand subscribers. And then of course we got phase two and phase three. I'm not gonna really go into that today because I'm assuming most of you are in between the zero to 1,000 subscriber mark. But we're gonna kind of stick with phase one, all right? So let's go back to this document. And so that's gonna be understanding the 10,000 foot overview, okay? so. First First things first, why are we doing this? What's the goal of YouTube? Okay, everyone has a different goal. My goal is to teach you how to monetize your YouTube channel. I'm gonna show you how to make money with YouTube even if you don't have a product, if you don't have a thousand subscribers. There's a lot of ways to make money with YouTube, but I'm gonna show you kind of the best ways and some other ways to think about, okay? So the first way is, I think what 95% of YouTubers try to get to, is to get YouTube ad revenue. If you don't know what that is, basically, let's just go for an example here. If you were to click on my video here, it's probably gonna show an ad. So as you can see, it's showing an ad, okay? I get paid when somebody basically clicks on my video and someone watches or clicks on an ad, okay? And I, I make a decent amount. And I'll show you some of the numbers if you wanna see them, but basically, that's how most people will try to monetize YouTube, okay? Now, to get YouTube monetized, you need 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. Basically what that means is, well, that's easy. You need 1,000 subscribers or 4,000 watch hours, basically a certain amount of people watching the videos, okay? So that's basically what that means. Once you hit that threshold, you become YouTube monetized and you get paid when people click on your videos and you get that YouTube ad revenue, okay? Great way to monetize, but I'll make maybe three, $4,000 a month with that. The way I recommend monetizing is with digital products or affiliate products. Of course, you can also monetize with brand deals. Brand deals, it's not consistent, right? You might get a, somebody that's like, hey, you review my video, I'll give you 500 bucks. It might be dead for the next couple months. It's not consistent, right? We wanna build a sustainable business that's gonna last us forever, okay? So I'm really, I'm really keen on like building a solid business platform, whether it's 
a YouTube channel or an email list. So I'll talk about a little bit of that later, but I know this is specifically for YouTube. So I'm going to go back over here. So YouTube ad revenue, I think of this as a bonus. Okay. Like I said, I do about three, 4,000 a month. This is a bonus. Okay. Online courses. This is amazing. If you have a skill, if you're an expert in something, create a course and then use your YouTube channel to drive traffic to that course. Okay. And then of course there's affiliate marketing. This is my favorite way. This is how I was able to personally leave my job. Basically what that is, is we find find a product that's not your product. It could be any product. It could be like, for example, my wife. Okay. So she made a video on the best suitcase to take when you're traveling with kids. Okay. She made a YouTube video on that. Okay. I think it was like the best travel tips. And then she had like, you know, this is the suitcase and then you need this certain car seat, all these tips, right? Like five different things that she helped people with on when they're traveling with kids. Now, this is how she made the money, okay? We basically, we said, hey, if you want all these products, go click the links down below. Now, these links were affiliate links to products that she didn't make, she didn't own, okay? This is where it becomes powerful because you, maybe you're a stay-at-home mom, maybe you're, you're working, you're with the kids, you don't have time to create a product, right? So affiliate marketing, you could literally monetize instantly. You don't need a thousand subscribers. You don't need all that stuff, right? I wanna show you how powerful this is, okay? When I first started my YouTube channel, I was able to make six figures before I hit a thousand subscribers. I want you to understand the power of that because you don't need to get to a thousand subscribers. That's all vanity metrics. All you need to worry about is making sure that you can monetize as fast as humanly possible. And that's basically with affiliate marketing, okay? So let's get into this, all right? So how to show up at the the top for any keyword all right this is where we're gonna spend a lot of time on all right so this part here this is how i've been able to get almost all my videos at the top right like i said if you go to youtube and type in certain keywords like for example this is a big keyword that i try to rank for you can see system io tutorial i'm number two okay 27,000 views these are like very 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 targeted views okay so i'm gonna show you how my process and how i do that okay how do I get my videos at the top? Because if you get your videos at the top, more people are gonna click your videos, you're gonna get more ad revenue, you're gonna get more people on your email list, more people to buy your products, and it just becomes a win-win, okay? So how do we do this, okay? Let's do a complete example, and you'll follow as we go through. And I have all these resources for you uh, that's gonna help you do this, okay? So let's start, and I have this spreadsheet here. Let's start with an example, and I'm gonna show you how we use this spreadsheet to basically do the research for our videos, all right? So let's get into it. All right, so this is the framework, okay? This is my secret stuff. What you wanna do is you want to find 10 to 20 YouTube channels in your niche, okay? These are channels that are similar or competitors that are similar to what you're doing. Why are we doing this? Because the goal is to model success, all right? You don't wanna just create videos that you have no idea what they're about, okay? so. The goal here is to find, you know, the top 10, top 20 channels in your niche and you write them down, okay? And basically, now you're gonna have like 20 channels that you can model. Now the next step after you do this is, now you wanna model their top 10 to 20 videos. That's the next step right here. How do we do this? So for example, here's somebody that I follow personally, okay? His name is Caffeinated Blogger. He's in the affiliate space. So if we go to his channel here, okay? What I wanna do is I wanna go to his videos. So we're gonna go to popular, okay? So right here, if you go to popular, okay, you're gonna see the top videos that he has made. This is where it gets a little tricky. Okay? You don't want to just copy all these videos. What you want to copy is the keyword, the idea behind that popular video. A lot of people try to copy the exact same thumbnail, exact same videos. Don't do that. Okay. Let's do his top video here. You can see how to make money on YouTube without making videos yourself. This is a proven keyword that continues to do really well. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this. Okay, how to make videos on YouTube without making videos yourself. I'm gonna just take that entire keyword and we're gonna take that idea and we're gonna try to use it for ourselves. Okay, again, what you don't wanna do is use that exact same keyword because I promise you, you're not gonna outrank someone that has way more subscribers than you. Okay, but what you need to do, okay, this is what you need to do. You're gonna copy the keyword, you're gonna go to the YouTube search. Okay, you go to the YouTube search. 
and you type that in the search, okay? I'm gonna show you some tools on what you do. Now, these are the, all the videos that are ranking number one. Okay, you can see all these videos right here. The way the YouTube algorithm works is they show these really big subscribers. You can see this guy with 470,000 subscribers and this guy 409,000 subscribers. They're showing the top YouTubers first, okay? So what you need to do, okay, even if you have zero subscribers, you need to find a keyword that works for your channel. So I'm gonna show you how to do that, okay? So the reason why, and I'm gonna go back, I want you to understand this, okay? We're finding the top YouTube channels that we're gonna model. We're gonna find their top videos. The reason we do that is because we know that the idea of the top videos are, it went viral, okay? But now this is, this is where we need to change things up, okay? We want to get the idea, but what we need to do next is we want to change that keyword specifically for your channel. Okay. So you want to change that main keyword to work for your specific channel. Okay. This is the game changer right here. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to show how I do that. Okay. So again, we found that video, we typed in the keyword. Now I'm going to show you some tools that you're going to want to use. Okay. The first one is TubeBuddy. It's called TubeBuddy. It's a Google Chrome extension. So you can go to Google and type in TubeBuddy. But basically, it's this Chrome extension that goes into your Google account. And then in this document, I actually put the, the link right here as well. Okay, so it's all there. Now what this tool is, okay, when you type that keyword, okay, just like we did at the top here, what you want to do is you want to scroll down and you're looking for this TubeBuddy Search Explorer. Okay, so right here, it's TubeBuddy search explorer why are we using this okay because the search explorer will tell you if that keyword is a good keyword for your specific channel so you can see the youtube search explorer okay right here okay so we're gonna look at this so we're gonna click here do you see this button here where it says click here for wade score you're gonna click on that button and basically we're gonna find out if this keyword is good for us okay as you can see it's a 17 out of 100 the search volume is high which is really good that means a lot of people are searching for that but the competition is really high as well if you're a brand new channel you're not gonna rank for that i'll tell you right now okay but that's okay what we want to do is we want to get a keyword that's going to work for us specifically you'll notice here it says how to make money on youtube without making the videos yourself what we need to do is we need to change this keyword up that way it works for us okay so this is where it gets a little fun okay and i didn't script this out i'm doing this as if i were doing this right now okay like if i were doing the research and i wanted to make a video based on that keyword okay so so you just got to start messing with this so how to how to make money on YouTube without making the videos yourself. Let's do in 2023, okay? You give it a, a date, sometimes it'll be more relevant and it'll give you a better score. Not all the time, but as you can see here, it gives you a 43 out of 100 score. It's okay. I like to be above at least a 70 if you can do that. So I'm not happy with the 43 out of 100. So I'm just gonna keep messing with this, okay? So let's just get rid of how to and do make money on YouTube. Let's see what that gives us. So same score. Okay, so we just gonna have to keep messing with it, okay? So let's just do 2023 without saying in. And sometimes this takes a while. So you have to really mess with it, okay? So I'm still not getting what I want. So make how to make money on YouTube without making videos uh, with faceless videos. Let's see here. Okay, let's see if we get better or worse. Okay, so there we go. Okay, you see that? So I changed it. The idea is still there, but now we're at 91 out of 100, meaning, okay, this tool is telling us that we have a really good chance at ranking at the top. So this is where it becomes powerful, okay? So how to make money on YouTube, no face. That's the keyword that's gonna work for us. And as you can see, the search volume is high, competition is good for us, and the optimization strength is high. So everything's really good for this, okay? So what are we gonna do? We're gonna use this spreadsheet that I'll give you guys. And basically, I just start filling this in. So for example, I like to put the competitor. So just so I know who I'm kind of modeling. So caffeinated blogger, the research keyword, was the one that we just figured out so it's this one right here we're gonna copy this whole keyword at the top and we're gonna go to back to our spreadsheet okay i like to put the competitor keyword because this is the one that we're kind of modeling so i'm just gonna copy this and then put that in my spreadsheet just so i know how much did it really change okay so i like to kind of 
see the changes okay so that's what i'm doing there don't worry about the searches per month it's a little bit more advanced don't worry about that what i want to worry about is a two buddy weight score okay so this one was a, a 91 out of 100. basically your goal is to just fill the spreadsheet out okay again if you go to right here you want to find the 10 20 youtube channels in your niche and then model their top videos and then you're changing the keyword you're literally going to have tons of videos that you can make right off the bat you don't even have to think about it okay because we're modeling the top videos you're, you're almost guaranteeing that you're going to rank at the top so that's the first step is you're doing the keyword research don't worry, I'm gonna give you all the spreadsheet, all this stuff, don't worry about that, okay? Next step is we need to understand the YouTube algorithm. The YouTube algorithm, if you give them what they want, they're gonna give you more of what you want. So YouTube loves when people are on their platform longer. When you can get somebody to watch a video, then watch another video, watch the entire video, share that video, YouTube loves that because YouTube makes more money. If you can make a video that gets people to do all those things, then YouTube is gonna give you more of what you want, which is more views and targeted traffic to your videos okay so you need to understand the youtube algorithm and i want to explain how that works okay so let me pull up the youtube algorithm and the metrics that you need to see okay so this is the metrics that you need to follow okay so i want you to think of this as a big funnel so these are people here all right so these are people and you need to get them to the bottom of the funnel the first thing here is impressions so basically what that means is so for example i'm gonna go to youtube here and like i said let's just go to that keyword here let's just say someone types in a keyword it means that they saw the video not watched it they saw it so that's the first part of the funnel is like they see the video, okay, but they didn't click on it. This is kind of important because you want people to click on your video because if they click on my video, my video is gonna outrank this guy. It's gonna bump them, okay? So they're seeing both of these. In this case, they're clicking on this guy's first and that's why he's over me at the moment, okay? How can I get people to, or how can I kind of bump people down, right? And that's the thing you gotta realize, like how do we actually do that, okay? So the first thing is impression. The next thing is click-through rate, okay? This is important. So with click-through rate, this is when they actually click on it. So they saw the video and then they click on it. That means it's a high click-through rate. So if 100 people saw your video and 10 people clicked on it, you have a 10% click-through rate, which is really, really good. So the higher the click-through rate, the higher your video is gonna rank. So that's basically what that means here. We got click-through rate. The next part is a retention. What that means is, this is really important. So now that somebody clicked on your video, you want those people to watch until the end. If they're not watching until the end, then that looks really bad. That means they clicked on your video and they watched you know, 10 seconds and they clicked off. That means you're not giving that person what they want and they click off. And YouTube sees that as not a valuable video. Okay, so if you make like a really good thumbnail, they click on your video, but you're not promising that thing that you're promising, then that's really bad. Okay, your videos are gonna go really, really low. So it's really important there. After that is, there's other metrics that we can talk about. So it's a little bit more advanced, but likes, comments, you know, shares, stuff like that, that obviously boosts it. But the big one I wanna focus on is retention. And that's how I'm gonna show you the perfect YouTube script. We wanna script the videos in a way that gets people to watch until the end. So that's the YouTube algorithm. So now that you know, okay, so for example, retention, well, I wanna talk about the perfect YouTube script because if you have a good script, that keeps the retention high. So the perfect YouTube script is something that, that I was able to come up with to help my videos stay at the top or help people watch a video but stay until the end. For the most part, this works really, really well. I'm gonna go through it fairly quickly, but you guys will see it. I'm gonna give you all the resources. So that's why I'm gonna go kind of fast. So for example, this is my script right here, okay? The first thing is you wanna have some sort of channel mission. And this is something you wanna write down. So whatever your channel mission is, okay? So the channel mission is how are you helping your audience? Why should people watch your video? People don't care to watch you, at least not at first. They won't go to YouTube to get some information. So what's your channel mission? So. For me, my channel mission is, hey guys, thanks for uh, watching this video. My goal is to help you build a full-time passive income business 
so you can achieve financial on time freedom and quit those nine to five jobs. That's literally what I say every video, okay? So that's your channel mission. And then again, I'm gonna go through this kind of quickly. That way you can kind of, I don't wanna go through all the details here, but basically part one of the video is you wanna give your intro, right? You wanna give a good hook, but also you wanna give them like, hey, like at the end of this video, you're gonna know this, this, and this, okay? So for example here, the keyword was how to get traffic to your affiliate link. So what I said was, are you struggling to get traffic to your affiliate link? I'm gonna share three ways to get traffic to any affiliate links absolutely free. And if you stay until the end of this video, I'm gonna give you the fourth option that has no competition right now, but has generated me hundreds of leads in just the past few days. So what did I do there? I gave someone a good hook, but then I said, if you stick to the end of this video, I'm gonna give you this bonus tip. You want people to stay to the end. Okay. That's really, really important. Next step. They're pretty simple. Just ask people to subscribe, but talk about your channel mission, right? So I say, if you're interested in achieving financial and time freedom, please subscribe to my channel. I come out with videos every single day, you know, stuff like that. Keep it short and sweet. Don't go into your life story. Again, people are not there to learn your life story. They want to learn what they're here to learn. Okay. And that's why you're focusing on search traffic. Part three is testimonial slash credibility. So why should they watch you, right? Why should they watch you? How have you achieved this result? Did you pay to learn or did you try it out yourself, right? Like why should people watch you? Okay, like it's really important because in the back of people's heads, that's what they're thinking. If you have results, okay, if, you, if you're getting good results that you could say something like, hey, I've used this exact same method to bring in over six figures in commissions per month. More importantly, I've helped thousands start generating traffic even as a complete beginner. That's what I would say. But if someone with no results, you can still make the video, but you, you just have to frame it differently, okay? So, and again, this, this is for any niche, okay? This is just specifically for this video, okay? So take what I'm teaching you in your niche. So if you have no results, right? You can say something like, these strategies that I'm about to show you have generated thousands of dollars in commissions per month. Take a look at, you know, maybe your mentor's Facebook group, and check out all these results. I've also invested thousands to learn this from one of the top coaches in the space. So basically what we're doing is we're using other people's results to make these videos. Again, you can do this with results or with no results. All right, so the next part is ask the audience to engage, right? So fairly simple, just a ask the audience to comment down below or to whatever it is, okay? Because you want people to comment, engage, like, share, all that good stuff. That's pretty simple. And then part five is the meat and potatoes. That's the step-by-step -step thing you're teaching, okay? That should just be straight to the point. I always say it should be as long as it needs to be. If it needs to be three minutes, it needs to be three minutes. If it needs to be an hour, it needs to be an hour. Don't fluff it up. Just give them what they need or else they're gonna click off. You don't want that. And then of course you have your call to action. Hey, by the way, if you wanna learn X, Y, Z, click the link down below, okay? That's where you make the money. So definitely have a call to action. And then part seven, I asked them to subscribe, to comment, all that good stuff, okay? So it's all about engagement with this stuff, okay? But that's it, that's the perfect YouTube script. So let me go back over here. So with a perfect YouTube script, it gets people to watch until the end. Again, this will help your funnel. And your retention is probably the most important thing. But before that, we need people to click on your video. So how do we get people to click on the video? And that's with the thumbnails, okay? These thumbnails right here, they get people to click. The easiest way to kind of do it is it's just model success, okay? Like you can see I made this video first and you can see he pretty much copied my thumbnail. <laughs> like exactly, okay? And he's now beating me, which I think I could beat him now because I'm gonna change up this thumbnail and you could just battle people. It's kind of funny, but what I'm saying is I, I can teach you the whole thing on thumbnails, but the easiest way to really do it is, is really just model success, okay? You can see other videos. Like for example, if I wanna do a video on how to start affiliate marketing, if I wanna make a video on that, I can see these top thumbnails and I can just model it, right? Obviously change it up, but you can model what's already working. That's the easiest way to kinda, kinda mention that. Okay. Last thing here is you want to optimize your videos to show up for that keyword. Basically what that means is, so if I go to any of my videos, let's go to this one right here. This one has always done really well for me. Okay. So if we click on this video here. There's a few elements that have helped me rank at the top. So you'll notice here in the title, I know I want to rank for the keyword system.io review, but I want to rank for this keyword here. I need to have this keyword throughout the entire description. 
okay in here you can see I have system io in here system io system io you don't want to just like put the keyword like crazy but you want to put it like naturally right you can see I, I naturally have it in here throughout this entire thing okay and then another thing is you could add chapters okay you'll notice i have chapters but you can see i have the keyword every single time and then of course you can add tags you can see all these are basically all keywords that are like system.io basically it everything just has to match you can do that, then your videos will rank high. As you can see, I'm, I'm at 96 out of 100 right now with this video, meaning I'm ranking number one for system.io. And that's a really hard keyword to rank number one. That's because of this funnel right here. So I hope that helps. I hope that makes sense. Now I want to give you all this. I want to make sure that you can uh, take this and I know it's a lot of stuff, but I want to give you all those resources and hopefully you can remember it. So if you want this keyword or this document, message me the word YouTube cheat sheet on Instagram. Okay. So go to, uh, you can just click on this link, but basically this is my Instagram right here. And just message me the word YouTube cheat sheet and I'll give you this document. That way you could have it for future use. All right, so thank you so much for watching this entire tutorial on how to start a YouTube channel from complete scratch. If you found any value in this video, I want you to comment YouTube domination down below. But more importantly, please subscribe to this channel because like I said, I'm coming out with videos almost every single day. We'll see you on the next one. God bless. Thank you.